My favorite physicist is Isaac Newton. He asked the question for the ages. If an apple falls, does the moon also fall? And he realized that he didn't have the mathematics to calculate a falling moon. So what did he do? He invented his own mathematics called calculus. And the theory was one of the greatest theories of all time, Newton's law of gravity. following this? Yes, sir. M most excitedly. Well, you don't appear to be taking any notes. Is there something you'd like to contribute? Oh, well, go on then. Come on. You'll need the chalk. But I, I hadn't yet completed that proof. How do you know? I don't know. I, I just do. The man exceeds any notion of brilliance that I have ever understood. Forget Jacobi. We can compare him with Newton. I have come to believe that for a Manugian, every single positive integer is one of his personal friends. Ah! I've been waiting for you. Square root of 58,639. Now! 242. 242 what? Point 1549090. Yes, Charles Play. Try me. Same number squared. 
3,438,532,321. Thrash you. Combinatorics, that's what I do. Glorified dice throwing. Bloody nerve of you both. You fail on primes, then you think you can just turn round and crack partitions. Can't be done, I'm telling you. Especially not by you. I can. Well, here we are, P of 200, the moment of truth. What has your formula given you? 3,972,998 million. My God, you're close. Within 2%. Well, I'll be damned. Major McMahon, may I introduce you to Mr. Raman Dujan? <laughs> You asked me if an ordinary person, by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagined it. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle, people. It just happens they got interested in this thing and they learned all this stuff. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say, you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, then he's become a scientist. Becquerel discovered accidentally that uranium salts wrapped in a black cloth left in a drawer left an impression on a photographic plate. And he thought that the uranium was having an unusual chemical reaction with something in the atmosphere. I say it's the element itself. Imagine a grape. How do you turn a grape into wine? Well, you crush it and ferment it. Yes, so imagine a grape crushes itself, ferments itself, changes its very being. And what if I told you that as the grape turns itself into wine, it can release a powerful surge of energy, power that can make things happen. You'd be excited, am I right? I think so, yes, I would. So, science is changing. And the very people who are running science are the people who believe the world is flat. And I'm going to prove them wrong, just as Newton did. <laughs>
of the world would not be the same. Few people laughed, few people cried, most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu is trying to 